Welcome everyone oh, to... Which camera are we looking at? You can look wherever you want. Okay. Welcome everybody to the first episode of Beyond Black Tea and Bourbon. Beyond Holy the shit. Beyond. Because like, if you are unaware, if you're new to what we're doing... He is clicking around. Tupac, can yeah. you just have a seat and chill? All right. That's Tupac's your corgi. Tupac He's Chikorgi. our corgi. And we love him, but like his little clickety clackers yeah. is out. He, he knows whenever we, we started rolling the camera, he just like really wants to get all active and shit. Yeah. Uh, Cause see, dogs feel energy shifts. This is Wait, a thing. Wait, did we say like, our names? Is, uh, no, we didn't. I'm I'm Ranny Agogo, and, and I'm Sig Neutron. Yeah. And uh, so, what we're here to talk about is our new paranormal talkie series, Black Tea and Black Bourbon. Tea and Bourbon. That's what the spirits requested. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if they, like you could say they requested it, but it was like more of like they just nudged us to the right answer mm-hmm. because like. The, if, if you notice in the beginning, um, there's like allusions to black tea, uh, and like shit gets crazy. I'm not, like, I don't, yeah. we won't do any spoilers, but we're gonna do spoilers for episode one. Yeah. So if you haven't seen episode one, go to it right now. There's a link in the comments below mm-hmm. to episode one. Yeah. Uh, check it out and then come back and watch this. And yeah. this is also available on the podcast of our <laughs> like, podcast. I think he found some rattles or something. Yeah, he's gonna kick his thing around. Sputron. What did um, he just find? Should we pause it? Or, like, right, take we'll that keep, from him? Keep rolling if you want to like okay. kill his fun. Um, so we are... Um, so where was I? Um, oh yeah, so black tea and bourbon. So we want to let everyone know because like the response, we've got like such a great response and a lot of people were concerned for us. Because it's super because fucking it's, dark. Was it's fucking scary. Fucking we lived scary. through that shit. Yeah. Yes. There was possession. Yeah. There were entities that were really fucking with us. Absolutely. But that was two years ago and actually like we're sober now and we are more spiritually like just strong. So we, we know how to work with these energies. Um, like back in that episode, you see like we, that was the beginning of our spiritual awakening. Yeah. And, um, and afterwards, it's funny because I had no idea what a spiritual awakening was uh, until I, we had our spiritual awakening. And yeah. then after the dust kind of settled and then spirit was like guiding us into like learning about alchemy and all of these like really awesome esoteric occult things. Uh, that was when... I started to learn that, oh my God, like a lot of people experience this horrible thing called the spiritual awakening. Yeah. Like a lot of people think it's this like, hey, come back. But it's like, no, it's like no, you're like. It's, it's like, wait the fuck up. Look at what you're doing to yourself. Um, protect yourself because shit's going to fuck your shit up now because you are more plugged in. Yeah. Guess what? All those voices you hear in your head, they're like real voices that sometimes aren't your own. Like that's the craziest thing that I can like give to people. Like. That's a scary thought. Like some people aren't ready to accept that reality and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching this, maybe you might be ready to accept that reality because it's not coincidence that you're here because nothing is coincidental. That's Mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So this starts as a paranormal uh, possession story about alcoholism. Yeah. And then it blossoms out into like occult nature of like star children and like secrets of the universe and all this. Like this is like literally. Is this what we're giving away? I didn't know we're going to give away that much. But yeah. I mean like everybody knows there's secrets to the universe. I know. But how are. But I'm just saying like when it comes to the story. Just wanted to let everyone know that we're okay. We're great. Um, I'm like, a very powerful actually, psychic medium now. I don't want to say powerful. I'm a very, well, I guess I am. In I'm tune. A, yeah, well, very yeah. in tune, pow- powerful, whatever you want to call it. Very confident with um, with my ancestors and the spirit team that I currently work with now. And so. this is a good point to make is that it's okay to be confident in yourself and your psychic abilities and your spiritual abilities. Yeah. But you have to always watch out for the ego trap. Mm-hmm. Like constantly, the, since the last two years... The spirit has been guiding us to like avoid ego pitfalls. Well, actually, it lets me fall into them all the fucking time. And then I got to like reflect and be like, why did that bother me? You yeah. know, and it's like a purging of your code and your trauma and like just to like make your operating system run really well. It's like you're a computer and you got to defrag every once in a while and like optimize because you're running old scripts and it's fucking your shit up, mm-hmm. you know? So we should get to the episode now. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so get all over the place. Yeah, but that's how we're I doing know, now. I know. It's good. I know. So, Episode one, it starts, um, 
And so we're, I think we're going to do this like after every episode. We'll do a Beyond Black yeah. Tea and Bourbon episode to kind of discuss it because people want more. Yeah. And I like, we're doing my best to put it. It's a, so much work to go through. So the first yeah. thing I want to talk about is putting this episode together was insane. Yeah. There were so many things just going wrong, like just weird synchronicities cameras turning off cameras not wanting to focus like how does an, an iphone not want to focus you know what i mean like just weird stuff like that yeah and and there's see this is the thing it's like the patterns and the energies that we work with now we understand synchronicities but back then it was fucking terrifying yeah it was just really weird it was like shit then. was happening at like weird time and that's like that's where the yeah. story starts going it gets yeah. fucking nuts we're like so going like, through like the footage and Man, just the, with timing, like there's a point where I'm like channeling an entity, and it's and it's like, isn't it? Well, if it isn't 1225 or something like that, and I look at the clock, and it was fucking 1225 real time, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like yeah. this is crazy. Also, even crazier. Uh, like so, right now we have like lots of altars set up around our house, and we have like a spiritual practice. Like we're practitioners, man, and mm -hmm. we. We basically came to our own, came into our own power because spirit kept like trying to block us from seeing other people and their techniques yeah. because they wanted us to remember our own yeah. techniques because I truly 100% believe in reincarnation and like I understand now what I am. I am an incarnation of my infinite self into this timeline. So they've been teaching us ways to remember these spiritual gifts mm -hmm. and we've been cultivating them. And the only way that we were strong enough to go back and start putting this footage together was to cultivate those spiritual gifts because that yeah. time still carries the weight of very dark energies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And putting this together is a trans trans transmutation of that negative energy yeah it was really tough going through the footage um we had way more footage than i even knew that we had like back then i thought i was channeling one or two entities but watching now with my clear mind and you know meditation every day and able to able to like see and sense what's going on there were multiple entities jumping in and talking through me it was crazy and i'm left to just like i was on the ver like it's the story, like, as it moves forward, like, I'm in the middle of, like, trying to quit drinking and thinking I'm losing my mind while she's, like, channeling multiple things. Yeah. And I'm thinking that maybe she's having a psychotic schizophrenic break. Yeah. But, you know, like... Which I thought, too, and I was, like, I'm kind of okay with this. Like, it was weird. Which made I was, me even more I'm, concerned. I'm drinking and I'm, like, talking and I'm, like, this is... If you want to know what it feels like, it's, like, be, taking a back seat in your mind and allowing whatever entity to just talk through you and and i'm listening and i'm like whoa like you could see me um just like i'll say something and then i just start laughing like oh fuck like that thing just said that it's it's hilarious yeah. when i it's when you watch it it's scary but yeah. now i'm like man like i was really channeling like some old funny spirits yeah and now like i'm coming into my i'm experimenting with shamanic flow states like some people and that's like a buzzword or whatever but like it's what it is man it's like a flow state it's not mm -hmm. uh, i'm not trying to appropriate anything it's just like it's the archetypal shamanic flow state but if you check out some previous episodes of my podcast like episode 92 for instance i just start talking i just speak whatever i'm i hear immediately without even thinking and it's like it's like you're listening to a radio that you're instantaneously speaking. It's like you become a radio that you tune your frequencies yeah. to. Um, but you can hear all those weird experiments that I'm doing that's like blah. That's when we start getting into like occult nature of the universe and stuff. Yeah. So definitely check out Sputron, uh, the, my recent episodes. They're getting super trippy and weird because like our life is super trippy and weird yeah, now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So is this going to be a recap of the episode or are we just going to talk about where we are now? Because I feel like that's kind of where we are now. Well, we're going to do a recap of the episode okay. like fully with everybody on Sunday. On Sunday, okay. October, it's, we're, fuck, it's, what is no, time? No, it's November. November. November 22nd. It this, doesn't feel like Sunday. it. It's hot as fuck. I'm going to try to put this video out like right now today. Okay. And then uh, this is, I guess this is the hype for the okay. thing. So we'll really get into the nitty gritty of yeah. the episode with everybody we can, on But we Sunday. can talk about what the episode was about. Sure. Though, right? Yeah. Like, we, we, just do say, like, we went to New whatever. Orleans. We yep. were alcoholics. Um, we kept drinking more and more. Uh, I ended up channeling um, or having weird spirits jump into my field and talk through me and give people these weird messages. Um, yeah. And then the next day I get slammed by a shadow demon. Yeah. Like I had been drinking. This isn't really discussed in the 
the thing, but like I had been drinking. So, and this is how like it, like seriously, alcohol like lubes up your vessel for like mm-hmm. shit to just pop right in yeah. there and fuck your That's shit up. That's why they call it spirits. Yeah. Like, and, like you really are opening yourself up to the spirits as you're drinking, you know. Yeah. It's, it's and, and also, interesting. alcohol, alchemy, there's like a lot, and alchemy is all about disolluting things and stuff. So it's like parts of you and weird shit comes through your body when you drink. Yeah. And like, that's why you've had those friends that are like, just get really fucking weird when they drink. They're yeah, like, man, they that's the like nicest really person ever. But like, that You're person like, is a fucking what asshole or something. That yeah. Dude? So, yeah. It's literally possess it. We actually, possession. we were able to catch on film as being possessed because there was just clear proof that especially when i was channeling that i was like talking to these people and telling them things that i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah should i talk about the the lady or? we talk about episode one yeah that's okay. what this is for oh i thought you were like we're not gonna no but also like if they want to watch it with us and we'll do a live okay. q a is on you know, yeah so sunday 27. yeah the 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 part that scared me was okay i'll just go backwards a little bit Throughout my life, I've had these gifts and, you know, I could see things, I can hear things. Um, I used to drink a lot of alcohol to numb that, thinking like it would just keep me from, you know, being bothered by the things. Little did I know that alcohol like makes you way more susceptible to lower vibrational things to jump in and talk through you or or make you, you know, weaken at Bernie's (laughs) sometimes. Anyways, uh, yeah, so basically when we were there, I was, there was a point where I was channeling, I just, I just saw this woman and I went up to her and all I could see was her. And this was the first time that I could really remember experiencing like, I'm not here. Like I could only see this woman. There's everything else around her was like purple smoke. And I was channeling, and it turns out that the, that woman's mother had just passed away. So I was just like having this like really heartfelt moment with this woman. And you know, it was random. It wasn't even like, I wasn't planning the, it. Like she just was some random lady on the street. Well, this is great. So I'm gonna put, the, there's like a full And we wanna 20, find out who is this woman. Yes, because if you like, know who this woman is, like put us in contact, cause we'd love to like interview her for a no, an episode of Black Tea and Bourbon. Yeah. Um, so with this, I'm going to put it on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Rancig. Yeah. The more um, I watch it, the more I hear Because, like, we don't, the have the, the we don't have the best early, sound. You know, link underneath. Yeah, we don't have the best sound equipment. So, like, I'm well, trying to. recording with my cell phone. Yeah, because... so I'm trying to listen. And, like, I'm saying a lot of weird shit. So, like, if anyone has, like, sound equipment or something. Yeah, if you we pick can, out like, any, like, strange pick up, things. Like, because I'm saying, like, I wasn't just talking to this lady. I, there was a point where I'm, like. There's multiple things talking through me because they're like, oh, she's open. Let's talk through her. I think that um, spirits like that. They see a person who can, who's a channel or like, you know, like their guard is down and then they're just like, let me talk. Mm-hmm. So so you need like a spiritual practice to protect yourself. Yeah. And that's what we're eventually going to like. If you go back to old episodes of Futron, we discuss this stuff. Like we're going to start talking about it a lot more now, too, because yeah. since the episode has come out. A lot of people have been like, man, people need to see this. I used to see things, I this yeah, and that. And, and it's like, this is what we're trying to about is like, guys, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. Because like we thought not, we were fucking and, crazy. And you don't but, have to be afraid. Yeah. That's the thing. Like the more fear you have, the more these things are going to want to fuck with you. The best way I can describe it is is Cora. Uh, the, the, when she goes to the realm of spirit and if her vibes are fucking negative, then it's like, that like roils up spirits and then they start because you are what you project yeah so it's like you get what you give and it's like you got to think about this thing that's constantly emanating from you yeah and if you're fearful and angry and stuff what do you think is going to attract to you fearful and angry things that amplify your fear and your anger because that's what they feed on Mm -hmm. and it's you know it's crazy that like i've made things like binge bugs now that like it's all making sense like i was trying to tell myself stories about things that actually exist because like a binge bug latches onto your head and forces you to do as much drugs and alcohol as possible and then it siphons it out of your body until you become like a husk and it's called the binge bug blues. And like, that's what's happening to people. That's what happened to me. And that's what happens to like people that I've known and any kind of, anyone that is an addict. I think that ad- ad- addicts are actually spiritually in tune people that don't understand their gifts. So yeah. then they, they are chasing feelings because what I was doing, I was chasing a feeling of, I suppose, numbness when I was drinking because like, I was just, be, it was, felt like every day was a barrage of pain and, and hurt that I couldn't explain and I didn't know where it came from. 
in these last two years, I've been working on diving into that pain and understanding that pain so I could let it go. Yeah, like leaning into it as opposed to just like, what the fuck was that? Mm -hmm. Like, that was what I was doing my whole life. There have been times where like a spirit, there was a time someone's father who had passed away and jumped into my body and and wanted to give his son this like message and that scared the shit out of me i stopped talking to that friend like was like what the fuck was that but then i'm like i'm just drinking more to like you know like trying to trying to cope with whatever the fuck's happening but now i'm like oh drinking alcohol is the last thing you want to do yeah unless you like you know unless that's part of your your channeling some people will drink alcohol to go into a trance or go into these like states but let me tell you you don't have to do that like actually if the more you meditate and the more you have your own practice and clear your mind and eat clean and you know like all that good shit like raising your vibration you can actually have altered states without yeah being there. like on any like the first after after all this shit happened and we stopped drinking like it felt like we were on ecstasy for like a month it's yeah really weird. dude there's all these like secret societies and things and like all these people trying to sell you a course to do this and that and it's like i get it it's like people got to make their money yeah. and like but like the part of like us making this is like giving you guys the tools and stuff for free to better your own yeah, life because I, like i don't want to hold on to and shit. i'm sick like, of I, sorry okay, is okay. There, I, 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 I get the, excited there are, yeah there are people who throughout this throughout like our changes who were spiritualists or whatever you want to call them, and they're, like, fearing us, like, trying to scare us and, like, t- like trying to act like there's some sort of hierarchy, like, oh, I'm teaching you this shit, so you need to fucking kiss my ass. And it's like, yeah. no, dude, like, res- I honor and respect where you are in your practice, and I know you've done a lot to be where you are, but I've been through a lot of shit, too, and you should, like, for me, it's like... I'll honor you if, like, well, I mean, I always, I did honor this person, but it's like, they don't honor me, then I don't want to work with them. I don't want someone to be like, oh, you don't know shit, like, you're, like, that was what, like, we'll, we'll talk about this later, but that was what was happening once I started trying to reach out to other friends, like, friends that were, like, psychic mediums. They were just really shitty to me, and I'm like... Because again, this spiritual Whoa. path is yeah. full of ego traps. Yeah. And if you fall into it, you it's so easy to do sometimes you don't even notice. Yeah. And it, because I know this because I'm, I've been guilty of it. And the only reason why I can overcome that is because you look at yourself with such brutal honesty mm-hmm. that we, we often don't do that. Yeah. Do you hold yourself accountable? It's very important. And that's why there's so many gurus and all this that's like super high ego that just want, they want people to be like fawning over them. And that's how like cults have these leaders and stuff. And this is what I'm trying to do with a reverentism is knock all that shit out and say, hey, there is a true, amazing cosmic love that permeates all things. And anyone can tap into that. And like, just because I've found out how to personally doesn't make me any better than you. It makes me want to share that with you and say like, hey, this is how I did it maybe it inspires you to find your own way because yeah. I don't have the answer. Yeah, we you don't have, have the answer. Yeah, everyone has their, their own answer. I have little breadcrumbs for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, the, that's another important thing. It's like I also see a lot of fear mongering when it comes to like people's like personal practices. There's always, always these arguments online and I'm like, if it doesn't work for you, that it doesn't mean it won't work for somebody else. You yeah. know, as long as like you are basically like there's so much fear going on when it comes to the spirit realm and don't get me wrong there is there are some there's things scary, to be afraid of there is some in, scary in shit sense. but i believe no matter what like we all have a, a higher self and spirit guides who if we really want to tap into this they will guide us to the resources the people or you know whatever like the the deities that that work for any specific person you know yeah. like and it's you shouldn't be afraid of this because that's that's where Christianity go- went wrong. That's where a lot of the- these weird, like... The New Age spiritual movement fails because it focuses so much on love and light yeah. that it, it it pushes away the darkness. Mm-hmm. And it's literally... That's why it's spiritual bypassing, and I call it love and gaslight, because they're saying, you, if you're in a bad mood, and then you talk to one of these fucking spiritualists, and they're just like, man, just chill out. Just just good vibes only, man. Good vibes. That's the last fucking thing you want to hear when your mind is on fire and you feel like your guts are falling out and you're just so fucking sad and like fucked up. You don't want someone saying like, ah, just ignore that shit. No, like what we do is like, I look at that when I feel that way, I imagine that I'm sitting with myself and I'm like, why do we feel this way? 
What's, what's, what's wrong here? And that's how you approach your shadow. With love, mm-hmm. not fear. Because you fear it, yeah. it fears you. It's, with it's love like, and respect and caution sometimes. But yeah. like really don't... There's that that fine line between being cautious and being afraid. Mm -hmm. Once you start getting afraid, you're like really fucking your own shit up. Yeah, but caution always have because there are many because there's so many things that can really like tell you shit and you're like like, are trying to trick you, and that's all part of the game. This is the thing that I want people to realize is like, no matter how real this feels, it is very real to us. Like, but it's also it is an infinite game that is being played. Like there is, we are just in little vessels, like inhabiting infinity you know this shit's like huge so imagine that your mind is infinite but this body is just a physical spacesuit to anchor you into this point in space time so we can all enjoy this narrative yeah that's i mean that's your version of what's going on right because everyone can have their own lens of how they view spirituality right his lens and i always try to make that known as a good thing to bring up like the thing like i am giving i'm letting you know how the universe makes sense to me Mm -hmm. and i want you to take that and if something resonates with you cool add that to your practice or like add that to your philosophy awesome i don't own anything nobody owns anything but it's like but don't think that i am like have all the answers or some shit because i'm constantly learning i'm constantly like growing and if you think that you have the moment you think you have the answer figured out you've lost or like yeah. you've you've forgot because yeah, like any master you, or teacher like if you approach them and they say that they know everything you should stay probably away from turn that person. around and like find somebody else absolutely because nobody because knows everything the real master is the eternal student mm-hmm. and the real master respects that and they respect everyone on the and same yeah, level that's why there's there has to be honor between the two yeah like it can't be I was, like i went through all these initiations and you better you know do as i say you don't know shit it's like it's like well it's good that, that i hope well that doesn't sound like that worked for you because you look you sound, I know, pretty, you traumatized. sound pretty like crazy like, oh you got like all like, cut up and shit and so it's like hmm. all right so now you think that other people gotta get cut up and shit to like yeah. get where you are like, like uh, i don't think I don't, this works that way <laughs> I, don't, I don't know man like i'm sure that like you whatever like whatever entities that's that's your thing you know yeah. like your whole life is your personal practice and it's your personal ritual and it's spirit giving you messages. Yeah. Every single thing in your life, everything that's broken, everything that's going good is all a reflection of you and your choices. Yeah. It all comes back to you. So if you reflect in, on your life and your choices, then you'll start to understand like where you're at. Yeah. And this is what we like. We had to get smacked in the face and yeah. like and that's what black tea and bourbon chronicles yeah and it's like it had to happen though it was um it was it getting did. to the point in my life where when i would just have one sip of alcohol like my whole body would react i would get super bloated i would feel sick and you know and i'm just like oh lol maybe i should stop drinking but you know i'm drinking now so i'm not gonna stop and then you know next thing you know i'm getting possessed by entities that are like yeah and <laughs> doing little, and... some weird stuff like i was <laughs> I was like, this is, if it was like the 1960s, I would be put into a mental hospital. Or if I was like, if this guy wasn't like there for me, I think maybe my sisters probably would have referred me to a mental institute. Yeah. I don't even know if those exist still, but like, it it, it it felt like, because I'm like, and I was just accepting it. I, I was like, you know what happened was I just looked at it with so much curiosity and i can see where demonic entities could really possess you into like doing some shit but like i always cross like i never yeah there was like a there was something in the back of my mind that was like this is okay this is okay and then there were things that would talk through me and i was starting to feel sick and i was like not feeling good and like it, it it gets really crazy but there were the good entities that were helping me and there were definitely like these negative entities and I had to stop drinking or else like it it was just going to end up I would I could have been, you know, crazier. Yeah, a little <laughs> yeah. little preface to where we start in Black Tea and Bourbon episode 1. Uh, I was drinking all the time. Like like a lot. A, a, like basically like this the big bottles of Sailor Jerry's like not even kidding. I every two days I was finishing one of those by myself. Yeah, every time like, I heard that the by myself, bottle like, being opened, it made me yeah, and, and, and Sailor Jerry's is a high proof too. Like yeah. I don't even know. Like I was literally possessed, and I would always hear this voice. It was an internal struggle. So like I understand addiction now, and it, like everybody always talks about this demon, this mm-hmm. demon that makes you an addict. Like all addicts know this. Yeah. It's a voice in your head that says 
you want another one, don't you? Just take yeah. another, just take one, you know, just keep going, you know? You get, you're chasing yeah. that feeling, you're chasing that feeling. And that was a, a legitimate voice I identified in my head way before any of this happened. Yeah. And before I was even spiritual, I was like, there's a part of me that just wants to drive me right off the fucking rails. Yeah. And like, and I yeah, kept I, listening I, to it. I was it. that person too. It was like, I couldn't just have one drink. I was, and, and no one would, would even know that I was drinking as much as I was drinking. I'm a small person, but I, before we would go out, I would have like five shots and then we go to the, the club or the bar and we we'll still continue to drink. So, you know, like it basically like, I just didn't stop drinking until I, I went to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so the, and then like the more I would drink, like, I started to lose my grip on reality and then I just used to become inexplicably angry and like shout. I was never like violent. I never tried to like hurt anybody physically, but I would like shout and like just be so angry. And you actually have recordings of me too. And it's oh, like, yeah. it, it, actually, it was like a every it got to the, fucking week. Yeah. Or every weekend there was like a whole, like you're just like standing in the hallway, like yelling and like angry. And I'm like, I'm going to record this because I don't know why. Like, And then I'd wake up the next morning and then she'd be upset. And then I'd have no idea why yeah. she's upset and he's with me like, because I don't remember any of that. Yeah, like, that like, wasn't even me. You'd be like looking at me like all like weird. And I could, you know, I could tell him like, you're not you. Get the fuck out of here. Like, and you're just like, why? Why would I? But like there was, a, and that's the thing. Like when, <laughs> when you could see spirit, because I could see it. It looked like he had um, special effects makeup on him to like warp his face and give him like dark demonic like s- circles around his eyes, and and you could just there's a shadow that you mm-hmm. could see over a person. It's like a, a thin veil of like. Of yeah, like and a, I'm like, yeah. whoa, this is not. I started seeing it too, cool. like when yeah. I started getting sober and stuff, and it felt like I was like on acid and psychedelics yeah. all the time. It's yeah. like the you're like the more you work you put into like alchemically clear yourself and like raise elevate your level of consciousness the more like it's like you're on a psychedelic all the time without being on psychedelics yeah. and this, also i want to make this clear we're not shitting on anyone who drinks we're yes. not shitting on any alcoholics because shout out to all our alcoholic friends seriously we, we love were you. there and like we're not even trying to change you because like if, if that's going to happen yeah. it's it's gonna whenever happen, it, but if you need help, we'll we'll be there for you. But like, we literally still—I well, mean, we haven't since COVID. But like, we were still able to hang out with our friends, and we would buy drinks and you know stuff for them to hang out. But like, we're, we're not totally we're fine not those, about like, being weird, around like, alcohol. Yeah, we're yeah. not like oh, we, we're you know that being around alcohol makes me uncomfortable. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. drink up, drink and up. I, you know, like, I think like uh, there's like there are certain systems. This is another thing too. I want to offer people an alternative to let's say like 12 step program or alcohol anonymous or you know it's like that works for some people and i'm not talking shit on that yeah but a lot of people i've talked to and me personally that would never like work but yeah. there are elements within the 12 step that actually like you can adopt into a practice to uh you know better yourself and yeah. and overcome addiction and i'm at the point where like i seriously don't even think i ever want to drink yeah, again you don't it's have like the... i learned what i needed to from it and yeah. like it, had good I, times with it yeah i enjoy cooking with it all the time i miss <laughs> you know the flavor I, mean? like, I absolutely do miss the flavor like this the well that's scent why i cook with flavor. it all the time because you cook yeah. it cooks off the, the alcohol but, but yeah we are it. absolutely 100 percent not weird with anyone yeah. that drinks and we're, we're not, not talking weird down with you we're not talking like, down on you like drink as much as you want be and where like, you we are we just hope that you're safe and you're healthy you know like that's all we want and it's like like because i think a lot of our friends like, a few of we're our trying to reconnect with them and they're fucking weird with us weird now with and, us. I'm like, and i'm like what, what did we do to like we're literally living our best life right we're now like and it's healthy like, now and we really care about you more because we're like more actually present, present. like i'm trying to go back and like <laughs> see all of my friends that have been doing stuff i'm trying to like look at their things and enjoy Instead their of content living in a blur, and, yeah you know? like i was not here like I, if you if you like like me less now than like you just you liked the shell of whatever right? i used to be but i'm like a whole person now you know yeah. like we're just whole on. complete people but i mean i i think that sometimes when people who drink a lot are around people who don't drink they they do have this like you know oh do they think they're better than me or mm-hmm. do you know maybe we can't hang out i don't want to feel they feel weird yeah and it, they have to ask themselves why is it that they feel weird? Because exactly. it's not necessarily up to us to convince anyone to stay in our lives at this point because we're we're okay with them. And if, But if they're not okay with us, then it's like... I'm know. not going to force you. You can't force anybody to do yeah, anything. You can only just be yeah, there Yeah, we just people. want to passive, passively be there for our friends. Unless we see that they're really fucking up and they're, they're in danger, that that's when we would step in. 
But, you know, we have to allow everyone to do what we did. Like, if anyone back when I was drinking a lot were to be like, oh, I don't drink anymore, and, like, trying to force their shit on me, I'd be like, okay, you know, I'm yeah. just probably trying not to hang out with that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, But I so the it. fact I'm that human. we're discussing alcoholism in depth as yeah. part of all of this is not a statement on anything or a talking down or yeah. discouraging. It's just we are telling you our experience. Yeah, and I feel like sometimes, like, with a lot of the clues that one of the entities that talks to me it was almost like alcoholism was important in in my path at least yeah. because and it also, was he talks about pickles a lot yeah. he's always like you were pickled it was like the perfect amount of pickling and that's what and I everyone didn't see. likes pickles and that's that brings ties back in alcoholism alchemy um if anybody's watching this i recommend looking into alchemy it's really interesting but what I think what happened was I needed to essentially become an alcoholic because I was dissolute, dissolving parts of my being and loosening things up. Because like I think those angry things that I used to be used to, I would think that's not even me. But now I think those were parts of me that were locked away and the alcohol loosened it up and they started coming to the surface. But then it's like you need a practice of like transmuting all of these parts of yourselves to become a whole being that is fully functional. Yeah. You know, and uh, however you want, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a good like beyond black yeah, and bourbon. That, like, yeah, we that's a kind of gave up. a re- rundown of what happens. We're letting everyone know we're okay, and yeah, absolutely. So as dark as it gets, know that it gets so much brighter. Yeah. The next episode is gonna get really fucking weird because that's when I really started channeling a, a and lot. And dude, like, and like the, the main part of this story. I've never talked. I just want to say I never talked like that in my my life. And I since then I have not talked like that. Like I had a completely different accent. Also, I just want to mention because like in the the first episode, I pray to Arc. There's a point where I pray to Archangel Michael, and I'd never prayed to Archangel Michael until that point. So. There was some sort of entity that was Catholic that was like, pray to Archangel Michael, he'll protect you. And I just prayed to him. But now, actually, as part of my practice, if I if I need extra protection, I, you know, Archangel Michael's the homie. So, yeah. yeah. It's all conceptual <laughs> containers for yeah. the, and names for these energy things so you can interface with them. Yeah. That's what it is. Because yeah. I always wondered, like, when did I start praying to Archangel Michael? And I wa- we were watching the footage, and I'm like, that's the first time I ever, when, when I'm trying to, like, get you safely off the streets i'm praying to archangel michael so shout out to archangel michael I guess. yeah that shit was that was <laughs> nuts man like i was uh yeah 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 so um yeah if you want so what we're gonna do is because this is a big mystery and like it blossoms up into something so crazy and magical yeah. and wonderful that we want you guys to be a part of so and gals and everyone in between mm-hmm. i try to say like yeah. Yeah. But y'all. So, um, I always say you y'all. guys, though. It's really hard for me not to. Because when, when I say you guys, like, I mean everyone. But yeah. I, I really got to get out of that because yeah. I don't want to f- offend people. Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't take much. Like, we've decided that we're just going to call everyone they mm-hmm. because it never specifies. And it's. it's Unless you know, I know that they're okay with. Yeah. But I don't know. I still just go with they too. So I get in the habit. But, anyways, uh, join our Patreon. And I'm going to put, like, full extended clips. So you guys might actually find some things in these clips that, like, we didn't even yeah. notice. And and let us know, it's, and then it'll so become part of the show. Yeah. It, like we'll move it. So it's like this is a co-creative experience with you, with y'all, yeah. and like so it's exciting. I'm really yeah. excited because I'm this excited is for, like huge. for everyone to see the all of the footage because there's so much. Yep, and also if yeah. you could please like it's so hard to get seen in this paradigm today. So if you enjoy this show. Uh, just share it. Make share a post it about it. Talk who about likes it. Shit. Yeah, just like yeah, like just spread the word for us because like we really appreciate it. And the bigger traction this gets, the more we can crank out episodes because like it's a lot of work. We're trying to balance this and like surviving during yeah. this pandemic. So you know? if we could combine all those things into one, mm-hmm. like that would be great. So yeah. join our Patreon. It's only Patreon. a dollar to join. Patreon.com slash Rancig. Yeah. And yeah, it's you can join for as little as a dollar. Yeah. All access. Or more if you can afford, you more, can afford than, more. Like it's basically pay what you can. Because we believe that's an economy that's a way of yeah. the future. We're really trying we to just... live the solutions that we want to see in the yeah, world. Yeah, definitely. So I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, and then I don't know. Check out all of our other weird shit on YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah so a we lot have of weird like shit. there's also um, Beyond Bizarro Agogo is another docu series that we have that like 
chronicles like us making our weird art shit. So if you like us, then you want to get a fuller picture of us, then watch the other docu series because it's like it's this whole like meta thing of docu series. Yeah. Series. 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 But anyways, thank you guys so much, and for all the patrons and all the people that are watching right now, like. I cannot thank you enough. I want you to know how valuable your attention is. And the fact that you're spending it on us means the fucking world to us. It's, it's really it really hard to does. Get people to pay attention. It really day. is. Yeah. And we have like a strong message of love and like growth and progress and we just want to share that with all of y'all. So Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god.